Shalom, yes, your brother. First and foremost, I'm to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Ophelakim that preach the word in all truth and sincerity. Alone to Israelite foreigner brothers that are like the heathens. But the line on their fourth side goes back to the nation of Israel. Which nation of Israel are you so called Negroes? Latinos and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother call a mob a lesson and um, today's lesson will be entitled Unprofitable Servants. I ask you to go on some precepts and uh, Lord willing, you brothers and your sisters out there be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai. You know, and um, you know, I'll be going to the parable um, of our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, um, as it says in Luke 17 and verse 7, you know, and this is our Lord speaking. Um, and it reads, But which of you having a servant plowing or feeding cattle will say unto him, By and by, which by and by means immediately, when he has come from the field, go and sit down and meet. And will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself and serve me, till I have eaten and drunken, and afterward thou shalt eat and drink and drink. Right, because you know the servant, you know, is supposed to um, always um, serve the master first, you know, before um, he eats his own meal, you know, because he's a servant, you know. It says, verse 9, uh, Though he thanked that servant because he did the things that were commanding him, I trial not. Yeah, because, you know, the master doesn't think thanks the servant for serving him his meat, his uh, his dinner, you know, because the servant is doing what he's supposed to do. You know, it says, verse 10, So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which I commanded you, Say we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which was our duty to do. Yeah, so you know we have to um, apply that same you know uh, principle in regards of doing the work of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know because at the end of the day, um, you know we're doing what we're supposed to do. You know and you know we can't look for pass on the backs. You know um, because ultimately you know we're uh, we are in debt to Yahweh Shai, you know, because um, Yahweh Shai, um, you know, he laid down his life for the whole nation of Israel, uh, but beginning on with the elect, you know, so the way we pay back the Lord is through our sacrifice, making our bodies a living sacrifice, you know, as it says in Romans 12, and um, in verse 1, it reads, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Yes, yeah, so how do we present our bodies a living sacrifice? You know, it's by sacrificing our time and our effort, sacrifice, sacrificing our, our, our pleasures, you know, all to, uh, to Yahweh, uh, all to exalt and do the work in its truth, to praise and uh, to praise you, how about Shimon Shai? You see, you know, going out on the highways and byways week in, week out, you know, sacrificing our, our life, you know, for the Lord. You know, it says, Holy acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. So, the, uh, when we make our bodies a living sacrifice, you know, when we go out on the highways and byways, sacrificing our life. For Yahweh by Shimon Shai, but not only that, by doing the work and uh, doing the videos and showing charity amongst the brotherhood, you know, that is acceptable until Yahweh by Shimon Shai, you know, because, you know, the Lord is pleased by the foolishness of preaching, you know, so at the end of the day, you know, we got to, um, as it says, Second Corinthians four. Let's see, 
So, you know, by us being a unprofitable servants, you know, we had to um, keep continuing to do this work, man. But this is, because uh, at the end of the day, this is not of us. This is 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 7. But we have this treasure in earth and vessels, right? And what is this treasure, this knowledge that we have? You know, uh, the fact that we know the prophecies, you know, in the earth and vessels represents, you know, the, the mortal flesh that, that we have now, these mortal bodies, you know? It says that the excellency of the power may be of Yahweh and not of us. So, you know, all the glorification goes to Yahweh by Shmuel Shad, none of us, you know, because, you know, this is, you know, this is the Lord's will, you know, so we can't take credit for none of this, you know, because the Lord is is uh is pouring out his Holy Spirit upon us to uh to, to uh preach the truth, you know. So, you know, we can't act like, you know, that uh, um, that the Lord need us because the Lord don't need us. You know, we're expendables. The Lord can easily replace, we can easily be replaced in his truth, you know, just like a job. You know, uh, your employer don't really need you, you know, because it's, it's millions of people that's willing to take your spot, man. You know, so the same thing with Yahweh Bashamon Shai. The Lord don't need us. You know, he can get rid of us and replace us with another uh, Israelite brother that come in the truth and repent. You know? And that's why we gotta be humble. But uh but yeah, you know, since we're you know teaching truth, we are unprofitable servants, but the Lord said he will reward us, you know. Um he that saw I think it's in Proverbs 11 you know Lord willing we part the elect we endure to the end you know we will receive the reward you know because remember the Lord is not unrighteous forget uh, our works uh, and labor and love towards his name this is uh, Proverbs 11 in verse uh, let's see uh, let's see Yep, this is uh, Proverbs 11, 18. The wicked work of a deceitful work, but to him that saw of righteousness shall be a sure reward. Right, so, you know, begin on with our apostle, the great millstone, you know, towards brothers on down, you know, we're sowing righteousness in the Lord, you know, so Lord willing we a party elect, we will receive that reward, you know, which the reward is ultimately going to be, you know, um, salvation but before salvation is going to be the hedge and Jacob's trouble you know being protected you know and also the, the, the war will be them crowns that we're laboring for man you know those uh, incorruptible crowns you know that Yahweh Shah is going to crown his elect you know um, after this place America be destroyed you know, according to the uh, vision that um, Ezra has seen, you see? So that's what we're laboring for, a man to be low willing and joint heirs, you know? So let's go to um, the Second Corinthians. Um, Second Corinthians. Uh, and what was that one scripture I look for? Um, Yeah, Hebrews 6. So, yeah, so, you know, going by the time of my lesson to bring it back home, even though we are our own product of service, we're doing what we're commanded to do, we're doing what we're supposed to do, but the Lord is still going to reward us, you know, Lord willing, we endure to the end, you know, because as it says in Hebrews 6 and 10, but Yahweh is not unrighteous, forget your work and labor of love. See, so... That's our, our, our power is righteous and just and fair. You know, we're not doing all these works in vain for nothing. You know, so Yahweh Shimon Shah is not unrighteous. Forget our works 
and labor of love which he has shown towards his name and that you have ministered to the saints and do minister you know and to find out where minister it's a uh, from the Greek word diakonio which means to be a servant you know serve wait upon to minister one you know so you know we're serving um the saints which are the Israelites begin on with the elect with this knowledge with this truth you know so you know we will we, we Lord when we party elect we will be rewarded I can all we gotta do is just keep continue to um pray to the Lord that he take not his Holy Spirit from us but that he keeps his Holy Spirit upon us to keep continue to fight the good fight of faith man you know and uh to remain humble and Keep continuing to do the will of the Lord until the end, Lord willing. So, so yeah, I come out pretty much it. I just want to make a quick lesson on that. Unprofitable servants. And the Lord willing, I was edified. And uh, until next time, shalom.